about the movie Laplace theorem, which states that essentially it says a binomial random variable will begin to look like a Gaussian random variable under some conditions. So, so to be a little more specific, a binomial random variable, the easiest way to relate to it is through a coin tossing experiment. You toss a coin n times, p represents the probability of getting a head in any toss. And of course, if you toss n times, the heads are going to show up a certain number of times. And that, and that total number is what x denotes here. So what is the probability of getting k heads in n trials? That's what this probability is. That's given this by this binomial expression, n choose kp k q to the power n minus k. And if you plot that, it has uh, this shape starting from 0 through n. These are the only possible values of k. And it's a standard expression that the, the mean of this random variable is np and the variance is npq. So the, uh, the theorem states that as n becomes larger and larger, this shape will uh, try to look like a Gaussian shape, uh, like this, uh, with uh, some mean uh, mu and uh, say uh, standard deviation sigma, where the mean is uh, np and uh, variance is npq, which is what I'm going to show. So instead of working on x directly, I'm going to work on a normalized random variable x minus np over square root of npq. So this is of course the same as saying that x is uh, uh, square root of uh, npq multiplied by y plus np. So if I can show that y is Gaussian, then this being a linear transformation of Gaussian, x is also Gaussian. So that's the way I'm going to show. So let's look at the characteristic function of y. That's by definition e raised to j omega y. I substitute for y here, e raised to j omega x minus np over square root of npq. And I do some simplification. So this, of course, uh, e raised to minus j uh, multiplied by, of course, omega here. Uh, so e raised to minus j np omega over square root of npq expected value of e raised to uh, j omega x over square root of npq. So this is uh, omega here. All right, so we need to know, so this is the characteristic function of x uh, evaluated at this point. So I can write, this is of course the characteristic function of x evaluated at uh, omega over square root of npq. Now the characteristic function of x is very easy. That's uh, by definition e raised to j omega x. And this is sigma e raised to j omega k, a probability of x equal to k. k goes from 0 through n. But probability of x equal to k is there. So that's a summation n choose k, uh, p e raised to j omega to the power k, q to the power n minus k k equal to 0 through n because I just substituted for this quantity here. n choose k, p to the power k, e raised to j omega k is already here, q to the power n minus k. Notice that this is the expansion of a binomial. So this of course you can write it as p e raised to j omega uh, plus q to the power n. So I'm going to plug that in here. So this leads to e raised to minus j np omega over square root of npq multiplied by uh, p e raised to j omega plus q to the power n. So this expression needs to be uh, simplified. So I'm going to simplify it uh, just below here. So if you we have uh, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to pull this term inside. So notice that uh, we, this n will go away once it goes inside. And here we have. Uh, uh, by the way, this was phi to the phi x to the power omega over square root of n p q. 
this is simply phi x omega. So I should replace the omega by actually square root of npq. Uh, so the right expression would have been here. Remember, we had here phi x of omega to be uh, p e raised to j omega plus q to the power n. But I need to evaluate this at omega over square root of npq. So this is omega over square root of npq uh, plus q to the power n. That's the right expression. Now I am going to take this inside the phase factor. So I leave this here. So from here, phi y of omega, which is what we are interested in. Notice that when this goes inside, this n will vanish. And uh, here we have uh, p omega over square root of npq. Here we have omega over square root of npq with a minus sign. So 1 minus p, that's going to be q. So notice that the numerator now reads p e raised to j q omega over square root of npq. Uh, plus q multiplied by this quantity, e raised to minus n has gone p o, j p omega over square root of n p q. The whole thing to the power n. So I'm going to expand this as a series. So phi y of omega is uh, uh, so I'll, uh, phi y of omega is if I expand it as a series, remember this can be expanded as 1 plus j q omega over square root of n p q etc. So this is going to be p multiplied by 1 plus uh, j q omega over square root of n p q minus j squared q squared omega squared over 2 n p q etc. Uh, that's one term uh, plus q multiplied by 1 minus j uh, p omega over square root of n p q minus uh, p squared omega squared over 2 n p q etc. Uh, so if I uh, the whole thing to the power n so we have the whole something to the power n and uh, so if I sum this up p plus q is 1 the next term is uh, notice that p a p, a p q omega over square root of n p q here it is p q omega over square root of n p q with a j here with a minus j here so this term cancels with this here the next term is p q is common so i pull out p q so then i have uh, with a minus sign i have q here i have p here so i have p plus q omega squared denominator is n p q multiplied by a 2 plus higher order terms involving n, n to the power 3 by 2 and so on. So notice that pq cancels here, p plus q is of course 1. So this whole thing now reads 1 minus omega squared over 2n uh, plus higher order terms but to the power n. And as you know this of course goes as e raised to minus omega squared by 2. So what we have been able to show is that this normalized random variable y characteristic function is uh, e raised to minus omega squared. So we conclude that uh, y is actually normal with uh, zero mean and uh, unit variance. So from here, of course, x is normal uh, with the mean uh, so x is of course uh, normal with mean np and variance uh, 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 x is of course uh, y is zero mean so x mean is of course np and the variance is npq and uh, that's what the uh, theorem states and uh, uh, so the here is a quick proof using the characteristic function so uh, characteristic function so this shape begins to look like uh, Gaussian and that uh, coin that uh, approximation is more and more exact as n becomes larger